developed an idea that we wanted to confuse people driving on this Highway 6 to Waterton Park of where the ranch land ended and the park began. That was our goal, and we would try to keep it that way. The ranchers found support in their efforts from park staff, as Parks Canada policy was in the 70s, beginning to shift from tourism towards the maintenance of ecological integrity as the primary goal of national parks. I think there's been an evolution in the, the thinking around conservation in general, and Parks Canada was part of that for sure, but it was more a societal change in, in opinion towards conservation, thinking that parks, this is kind of a last bastion perhaps, this is the place where things should be protected, and perhaps that should be the first priority of these places. The only way to protect the wildlife of a small park like Waterton was to start working with the ranchers surrounding the park. One idea of how to do that was to pursue a new concept in conservation coming out of the United Nations, the Biosphere Reserve. Designated by UNESCO as Canada's second biosphere reserve in 1979, the Waterton Biosphere Reserve was the first to have a national park at its core, with a buffer zone spreading out into the surrounding ranch lands. The buffer zone had no legal restrictions or protections, but the Biosphere Reserve designation encouraged the park and the ranchers to work together towards common goals. Mm -hmm. 